Conversation that I got to give in El Salvador using yo-yos, and obviously I had a translator so they can understand what I was saying because I don't know Spanish well enough to do it all in Spanish. Um, so if it seems really slow, it's because I'm waiting for a translator to translate usually. So there might be some awkward pauses in the middle, just just clap or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, and usually when I started, I would tell the kids to if I ever drop the yo-yo to say hallelujah, so they laugh. So you guys do the same thing because it boosts my confidence. So so I don't like break down tears or anything. So, uh, <laughs> Very sensitive. Yeah, it's true. All right, I don't know if I have enough room here. I'm gonna go out on the carpet. We'll see if I can remember too, because usually I had it on a like a music stand in front of me, the outline. So we'll see what happens here. So when I was young, what I wanted more than anything else in the world was to be liked, and I thought that the way to do that was through sports, because I was really good at sports. So first, I tried running. My parents were both very good runners and they thought that I could be a good runner too. So I ran as fast as I possibly could. <laughs> and for a while, all my teammates liked me, because I was fast. And I was happy for a little bit, but then somebody faster came along, and I wasn't happy anymore. So I tried gymnastics, and I thought if I could just do enough flips. The judges would like me, and I'd be happy. It was for a while, but Somebody who could do more flips came along. I was happy anymore. So I tried soccer. I thought if I just kicked the ball hard enough, my teammates would like me, and I would be happy. And it was for a while. But then, you can guess, somebody came along and I kicked the ball harder. And I wasn't happy anymore. So I tried trampoline. I thought if I could just jump as high as possible, I won't be able to throw this very high in here. But. <laughs> It's a lot more entertaining when I have on my outside and I can throw it really high, but I'll do it again. Just, since you guys don't get to see it go as high. So yeah, that's trampoline. Um, I jumped as high as I could. I even became national champion of trampoline one year, um, but then uh, the year after that somebody else was national champion and I wasn't happy anymore. So through all of this, I thought that God worked the same way, um, that if I just did enough good things, I could work my way to God. But as I read the Bible, I realized that that's not the way that God works. In Romans 3.23, it says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And Romans 6.23 says that the penalty to that is death. And so that creates this huge gap between us and God that we can't cross. And so God had to do something because he still loved us. So he sent his son down from heaven instead of us trying to get up to him. Uh, and in let's see, John 14, 6, it says that uh, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except for me. So Jesus is the only way to God. We can't uh, work our way to God through good works, as I was trying to do. Um, Ephesians 2.8 says that it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not of yourselves, it is the very work of God. Um, and and it is not by works so that no one can boast in your summer. Um, uh, it's a fair price. Uh, so anyway, um, like that verse says, you, you can't work your way to God. It's by faith. Um, and so John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And so if we do uh, trust what Christ has done on the cross and turn from our sin, we can spend eternity with God. Thank you for listening. Um, and then I would say this story has turned my left upside down. I hope that it does the same for you and I do a backflip, but I'm not going to do it in here because you can see it. So I end up in this ceiling tile.